Aloha, good morning, welcome to Carlos Corner this Monday morning. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys had a blessed weekend in whatever you was doing, uh, down the beach, up the mountain, with family and friends, or just by yourself, relaxing and enjoying time off. Uh, so thank you again this morning. <clears throat> hope uh, you guys had a chance to be at morning service in person, uh, if not uh, online. So that he could be blessed by the message we had yesterday in Leviticus chapter 7. A lot of complex things going on uh, with this journey through Leviticus. Uh, but Kao is just anointed and blessed by God to just bring us the message word for word. Break down <coughs> the message and uh, show us how Jesus is also in the Old Testament. And how the New Testament uh, can only exist with the Old Testament. Uh, without it, uh, there is no New Testament. And each Sunday that we come and we partake in a message and take notes and really go back and read, uh, that it it is there. Uh, when we read sometimes on our own, we might just surface read and read over things that God wants us to catch, uh, but sometimes it takes um, another person's point of view, God's wisdom in him to bring it forth so that we can see it and understand it and then go back, reread, <clears throat> and then um, then you can see it. So it was a blessed time. Again, for those of you who have been home for such a long time, I encourage you to, to come out. Come out on on Sundays um, this coming Sunday there's going to be a pot blessing after service we're going to start uh, doing it on a regular basis every two weeks the second and fourth and like how Keith just said yesterday that eventually in the future uh, we can go back to every Sunday but for now two Sundays a month uh, is a blessed time to just fellowship uh, meet new people, build new relationships, and I just see what God has in store. There's always uh, outlets to serve Him, uh, to be of service to anybody, our guests, our visitors, even um, the congregation, our family. So I encourage you, if you're home, please come out, uh, be blessed. Uh, this morning, you know, it kind of just ties in a little bit to what kaho has been leading us through um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about how we um, examine ourselves self-examination or self-condemnation sometimes we think we're not worthy of God's grace and mercy um, so we kind of condemn ourselves uh, we feel guilty Believe me, Jesus died on the cross because he knew exactly when we came to him uh, in humility and asked him to uh, forgive us for our sins, uh, come within us, live within us, change us, live through us so that we can be a testimony for him. Um, but he also died for the future sins, the future shortcomings that we might have. Satan is not going to leave us alone uh, when we get saved by Christ's blood. He's going to probably pursue us even more uh, because we're in the game, we're off the sideline, and our uh, Jesus wants to, us to be a testimony to people who don't know him. Um, so when we get saved by Christ and ask him to live within us and we believe the gospel that he lived a sinless life, that he died upon a cross out of love for our sins, carried our burdens, was buried, and on the third day God raised him from the grave uh, to everlasting life. Uh, so in him and through him we have salvation. Uh, once we come to know him as Lord and Savior, uh, Satan just ramped up his, uh, his deal on us. So he's going to pursue us even more. However it may be, if he can get us to get back out on the sideline, 
condemn ourselves um, and tell ourselves that we're not worthy and just crawl back in a hole, uh, then yes, yeah, Satan is doing his job. Uh, but I just wanted to hit on a short passage from 1 Corinthians where Paul wrote back to the, this is again, all in-house, all the believers, uh, they started questioning uh, Paul about his theology, about uh, Christ, um, because it was getting diluted from other uh, teachings already. So, I mean, we still face that problem today. It's, it's everywhere, uh, even in God's solid churches. I mean, the theology is solid. Uh, everybody's studying and reading the truth, and sometimes something can come in and then can make people think, well, I don't know. Maybe there is something else. Uh, and it's exactly what's happening to this, what was happening to the churches back then in Paul's time. You see it in the, let, in the letter and you had to reaffirm them uh, that Christ is who he said he was and what he did upon the cross uh, was truth. So he constantly kept writing letters back to these churches, encouraging them in the faith. And I just wanted to take one passage. You know, we talked to them about examining themselves. Um, we got to constantly do that uh, on a daily basis. You know, we fall down. Uh, we got to get back up. We got to examine and say, hey, where did I go wrong? Uh, and how can I correct it? Um, because if you're a true child of God, the Holy Spirit is in you. He's going to help you. I think sometimes, like for myself and for you guys also, when we fall short, when we do something that is not right, um, the flesh is still in there. Uh, it's still in here. Even if we have the Holy Spirit residing in us, wanting to help us on a daily basis, we have the power to put Him aside and go do what we want. And then the next day, I feel guilty about it. I truly come to repentance with God and God will say, you know what, my child, we'll start all over again. And you just keep starting that process, starting that process. Um, but Paul wrote to the church and he said, you guys got to examine you guys self. Are you truly in the faith or is it just a covering? Uh, and then when you get stressed out, you get weak, you do something that you know, you feel guilty about the next day. So is your faith strong? Is what you're doing? Uh, are you in God's word? Are you praying? Are you around other believers? So that all of that things can work together. And then your faith becomes uh, stronger. Um, and you don't have, you don't give Satan the advantage, the flesh to take over uh, when you're weak. When you're stressed out, you do things or something that you might regret the next day. Satan just loves when we do that. Uh, when we fall short or weakness takes over and we do something. Um, and then it ruins the testimony. And then, you know, you condemn yourself. Um, it's a spiritual battle. And Satan is saying this exactly. I might not have him at the end of the game because he's going to be with heaven, uh, Christ in heaven. But if I can just get him to mess up along the way, ruin his testimony, keep him off the field, hey, you know what? That's, that's what I can do. Uh, he might not win the war, but he can win the battles within the war, basically. And that's what Paul just trying to tell these believers. And it's out of... Uh, 2 Corinthians, excuse me, chapter 13, uh, verse 5, he says, Test yourselves to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves. Or do you not recognize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail the test? Pretty simple. I mean, but today's time there's so much things going on with families everyday life uh, and Satan would love when we we fall short or we let stress the cares of the day uh, uh, 
get us into a pickle. Uh, and then we get stressed out. And talk, Kahu talked about that yesterday a lot. Um, and he took us to uh, the Gospel of Matthew. Um, and talked about Jesus. Say, why worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow has its own worries. Um, but trying to make our life simpler, the way we live the people we hang out with, what are we re reading, what are we watching, uh, if we hit the daily scriptures <clears throat> every day and read about what uh, God wants for us, the Holy Spirit within us is going to confirm it um, when we fall short, we're going to fall short daily um, and just re-examine ourselves and just ask the Holy Spirit to just say, lead us again, get back up. Keep moving forward. Don't fall backwards. <clears throat> uh, Satan would love for us to just keep looking in the rearview mirror and not moving forward and being condemned in our past when uh, Jesus died for our past, what happens today, and in the future. Um, so I hope I, I need encouragement daily. Uh, even it's texting with the brothers or, or just reading scripture to... To just say, hey, you know what, um, get back up, keep moving forward, and uh, what can I do for God today? How can I be of help to somebody else or do something that will honor Him? He knows we're going to fail Him, but He's always there to pick us up if we truly repent and examine ourselves and see where we went. We fall short. And next time we get to that point, then we know, hey, we're right at the crossroads again. This is what I did wrong. How can I do things different? So um, I hope you guys have a good week, a safe week, a blessed week. Um, stay safe out there. God bless. Allah.